Hey guys, Justin here with Razorback Off-Road. Today we're installing a roof and optional roof rack on this Kawasaki Mule. As always, we'll start with a quick overview of all the parts and hardware, then we'll get right into the step-by-step -step process to get this build underway. Let's get started. Included in your roof assembly is a visor, front panel, middle panel, and rear panel, as well as two gas strut brackets and two gas struts, as well as a hardware kit and gasket. To finish this build, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, a 3 8 wrench and socket, a 7 16 wrench and socket, two half inch wrenches, a 14 millimeter socket, and whatever driver you've got available. The first thing that we're gonna do is install the visor to the front panel using the 1024 hardware. To do that, I'm gonna nicely set the visor in place, aligning the holes, and starting with the bolts from the top. I'm gonna get two started here, and then reach from the underside and get first bolt started. That's going to kind of hold it in place while I finish the others. Again, once we get these all finger tight, we'll go back and tighten up all the bolts once they're all in place. So we've got four on top. Just don't forget that there's one two on each side. Now that we've got these all started, we're going to tighten them all down using a Phillips screwdriver and a 3 8 socket. Before attaching the panels, the hinges need to be installed. Slide the whole side of the hinge pivot pins through the slotted hinge plates. The hinge pins need to be overhanging the wider side of the hinge plates. Place the hinge pieces into the corresponding slots in the roof panel. Align the holes of the hinge bottom plates on the underside of the roof panel and fasten using the provided stainless steel 1032 flange nuts and bolts. Now that we've got the front visor attached, we're gonna to move to adding the middle panel to the front panel. To do that, I've got a helpful hand here. As we put that in place, we're just gonna to wanna to slide the middle panel underneath the front panel and line up the holes. There are seven quarter 20 bolts. Just put those in place from the top. These panels are kind of big and can be kind of hard to handle, so it is nice to have somebody who can help out if you've got somebody. At this point, we're going to install the optional roof rack. In the roof rack, there's four main pieces. We'll have two bolts at each corner. You can tell that the front piece um, you, it sets itself apart by the, the angle that you'll see that differs from the other pieces. The sides are going to go on on top of both of the front and back rails. So again, just two bolts in each corner. We'll get all of these bolts put in place. and tighten down, and then we'll attach it to the top of the roof. Now that we've got our roof rack bolted together, we're gonna to go ahead and bolt it to the top of the roof. 
Once we set that in place, we want to make sure that we get our spacers and put them on the top of the middle panel and line that up so that we get a nice transition between the front panel and the mid panel between the rack itself and the top of the roof. With the bolts lined up, we'll just go ahead from the top side, get those all put in place. Now we've got the rack all tightened down and in place, we're going to go ahead and move to the seam uh, between the middle and front panels. One nice thing about the rack uh, being attached to the roof itself is it gives you a nice straight line when you tighten up that rack. If you don't have the rack option, we would recommend taking a level or a straight edge when you tighten down this seam so that you get a nice flat line across the top of the machine. Now that we've got the majority of the roof assembled, we're about ready to set it on top of the machine. But before we do that, there's a couple things we got to make sure we do. This machine in particular, because we have the RBO windshield already installed, we need to make sure that we take the top two bolts out of that windshield upper panel. And then we're going to install some gasket on this uppermost bend. So we'll go, that, we'll go ahead and do that uh, and then get some help from Chris to help us lift the panel up on top. Now that we've got those bolts taken out, we're going to go ahead and start our gasket. Like I said, right on the top of this uppermost bend. I'm going to go ahead and get it started from the ladder. And I'm actually going to step in the machine here and work it across the top. Go ahead and trim any excess that you have off the edge here. We have gasket that's going to go along. You can see it's actually already pre-installed on this machine. That gasket is important because it's going to help you, and it's going to help prevent a lot of uh, rattle as you go down the trail. So go ahead and install that gasket right along the top of the roll cage, and then we'll, uh, we'll get Chris to help us and we'll get the roof on top. Again, we definitely recommend having, a, having help putting the roof on. But since we've got it in place, all it's going to take is four bolts to get it attached to the top of your roll cage. Now, in this case, we have the RBO windshield already installed. So you're not going to need to put the aluminum spacers in on the front. In this case, um, you'll just need to put them in place on the back. So right above uh, where the holes are, put the two spacers between the roll cage and the roof. Now that we've got those in place, we'll get them tightened down and move on to the last panel. Now that we've got the bolts tightened on the roof, we're gonna go on, we're gonna go ahead and move to the strut brackets. To do that, we're gonna remove the factory installed bolts into the roll cage. We'll install the strut bracket and then tighten them down in place. And tighten it down with your 14 millimeter socket. Now that we've got those tightened down, do the same thing on the other side and then we'll get some more help and we'll get the uh, rear panel in place.
With these hinges, it's important that you don't over tighten them to allow those to pivot freely. Now that we've got our hinging upper panel in place, we're going to install our gas struts. Um, we do it from the outside in and do the back um, pivot point first. Uh, get that in place and go ahead and tighten that down. I'm gonna have Chris help me on the other side as we go. It's nice to get those in place so that as we lift this up, it's easier to reach this center bracket. The last thing we need to do is install our hold down clamps. To do that, we're gonna have to lift up a little bit of this gasket that we, gasket that we previously installed. Um, when we install this, we wanna make sure that the hooks are pointed downward so that it grabs onto our rubber latch. So go ahead and set that in place. You kinda of have a rough idea of where it goes, but you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you use the one inch bolts in this case because you'll need a little bit of space to be able to get that um, pulled down and clamped down tight. Make sure that those, this bottom plant clamp fits inside the upper clamp. So I kind of have a rough idea where that goes to make sure it's in place. We'll pull down the roof and you'll see that you want this rubber pull to line up with the center of that clamp notch. So now that I've got that where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt in. One thing to note, is that you can tighten the tension on that clamp by, by rotating this um, clamp downward. That will give you uh, more tension on that rubber clamp. So keep that in mind. You might have to tighten it down and then adjust it after you get it in place. Now that we've got our clamp lined up, I'm gonna go ahead and place the bolt in from the bottom up. And we'll tighten that in place. Now I've got the bolts tightened down. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down on the panel and see that this rubber latch is lined up perfectly with the clamp. At this point, you're gonna to wanna to go to the next side and do the exact same thing. So there you have it. Your roof and roof rack are installed and ready to go. Don't forget to swing by RazorbackOffRoad.com and check out all of our other accessories that fit this machine, like this windshield. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel there you can keep up to speed with all the cool new accessories we've got coming out. And as always, I hope to see you out on the trail.